Hey everybody, welcome back to Katie Did Games. I'm Katie Did, and today we're doing something very different. I haven't posted in the last couple weeks because, to be completely honest, I just wasn't having that much fun anymore with the last playthrough. I'll probably get back to that at some point, but I want to do something different. This is Don't Starve Together, uh, even though we're going to be playing alone for now. I might play online with a few other people later, but I love this game. I've played, according to Steam, this game for 224 hours, and that doesn't include the original Don't Starve. Um, so let's get into it. For now, we're gonna just gonna do a game by ourselves. We're gonna just create a new world. Hmm. Doesn't really matter since it's gonna be us all by ourselves. We're just gonna play around. Um, I think I'll just leave all the settings basically as they are. I do play with some mods because I find that fun. So this one, when things drop, it drops them into piles so it's easier to pick things up. Uh, craftable gears, um, I'll turn that off just to make things a little bit harder. We don't need the birdhouse, we'll leave that one on. I think I need that one. And this just lets, hold us, lets us hold larger stacks of items. So we'll go with that. Yes. We'll play with people later. This time I just want to run around and play by myself. We are going to play... Uh, Link's a little overpowered, because he's very, very strong, but I love Link, so we're gonna do it. So, just a warning, he's a little bit OP. Oh my god, there's pumpkins! Oh, it must be because of the um, Halloween coming up. Ah, uh ha -huh, yay! Okay. So, if anybody is new to Don't Starve, you basically, you get plunked down into this world, and you have to survive. And you start with nothing, and you have to gather everything, and you have to make your tools and things. Um, there's an actual story in the first one that you have to try and go through, and you can actually win. But Don't Starve Together is basically just survival. Oh, and if you saw, when I chopped down a tree, I picked up that apple. That is a mod from the Isabel character. Even if you're not playing Isabel, she's still... Um, affects the world just because you have her enabled um, and so when you chop down trees sometimes you'll get fruit which I really like so. we're gonna pick some flowers so we can make a flower crown to keep ourselves from going insane because up here in the top corner you have your clock and your stomach your sanity and your health uh, if you start losing too much sanity, uh, everything starts getting really wobbly and dark and these little rabbit guys here, if you, if you catch them you get like beard hair instead of meat and like all kinds of things like shadow monsters start attacking you so if I give any sort of advice it would be right away since you're not going to stay in this area pick flowers and make yourself a flower crown because it'll just what the heck is that pick up dangling depth dweller decoration okay but yeah you're not gonna stay in this beginning area for very long I at least I don't I usually look for bee flow um, because they'll help you survive a lot in a lot of different ways and so I usually don't stay in this area so it's best to go ahead and just pick up everything in this opening area as much as possible. I just need one more flower. Now we make our flower crown and this will help keep our sanity from going down too much too fast. So we need to make sure we have everything for fire. I can make a basic campfire but I need rocks to make a better campfire. But that's not super important at the moment since I haven't found anywhere I want to permanently camp. Let's see. Let's explore this area. Now Link does move a lot faster than most characters, but that's okay. And that's perfect for a video because sometimes playing the person that's moving so slow is mind-numbing. I can't imagine it'd be much fun watching somebody move so slow. Alright, so we're, I'm basically just looking for beefalo at this point. I 
they live typically in these grass biomes. When can I make a backpack? Sure, let's do that. So that'll get a few of these things out of my pocket. Okay. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with all these. Do we just give them to the pig king? Ooh, a bunch of pumpkins. It's just picking, picking! Alright, what happens if I give this to you? Can't give it to you. Can I give this to you? I can give this to you. Oh, what about this? What about this, I think. Okay, can't put that in there. Uh, can I give this to you? I can. settle right around here because the pigs will help a little bit with when the dogs attack. But I don't want to be too close to them so we'll settle up here because during a full moon they will become wear pigs which is not good. Uh, but we need to find, oh there's a, oh look at that. There is a lot of things here. So we have the Glomer statue and a resurrection stone, as well as some big beehives and stuff that potentially could be bad. More than anything right now, we need to find a rock biome. Otherwise we're in trouble. We could potentially settle here, but we're missing a few important resources. So we'll keep looking for at least one more day. So let's see. There's nothing down here. So I guess we'll go back up and over past all of those bees. Thankfully, Link is pretty quick. So he should be able to run past anything dangerous. But it is day three. I don't want to go any longer than day five before I start setting up camp because I might be in trouble when the dogs attack. Um, apparently I just discovered a little gnome village. Like what? Where does this one go? I think I got, I went through that one, and I went to, let's go see where this one goes. <gasps> he was having the worst luck. Let's go get some more of this stuff for the picking. I could just stay here. The pigs are freaking giving me a bunch of poop. Alright, let's give you. Oh, he doesn't want that. Uh huh? No, he doesn't want that. How about this? He doesn't want that. Herbert. I didn't know. Oh, 
know if Candy Corn helps my sanity. Rock by home. Alright, up we go. Oh boy. Run away, run away, run away! Oh my god, oh my god. Now! Oh, interesting. We're gonna go up there. If I went all the way south looking for rock biome, just to find out it was right above the start, I'm gonna be so upset. Where do you go? Ooh, finally somewhere new and the direction I'm going to go. And there's Diesel. Alright. And another one. Fabulous. I totally went the absolute wrong direction of what I should have gone. Oh yeah. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll put a camp here. So the rock biome wasn't huge, but that's okay. Uh, now I need to get some grass. We'll break down the little base and move it a little closer to the beefalo. Because the beefalo will protect us against the dogs. And they'll give us manure, which we can use to make farms. We need to shave them to get some fur for the winter. They're all around just very useful. The only thing is you have to be careful during um, the times when they go into heat. They are very aggressive. So. Let's make a hammer. We'll go break some stuff and move some stuff. Look 
come back for those. He's nearby, which is good. Let's put it right by the resurrection stone. That'll be very handy. This is not a bad little place. Totally gonna solve it right here. Fire pit. Boom. And science machine. Locks. Okay. Take this hammer, break down the piggy heads. these trees just to get them out of our inventory. Okay. There we go. Go over here. And all this other random stuff, I guess, can go in there as well. I, they won't perish if I can eat them. So that's good. I'll have to make another one. Well, I gotta pause here for a minute. I gotta... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Honey butter, light the fire. And that's where we're going to stop today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun filming something new and playing a new game. So I guess I will see you all in the next one. Bye!